Hello everyone, this is Josefina Sienna. I am Madison. Josefina was my first American Girl doll and Sienna was my first Art Generation doll that sparked this entire channel. I have some new editing styles coming along. I'm trying Pic Collage and Cap Cut because they're free editors in picture and film and let me know in the comments if you like this editing style. I was just getting really tired of unboxing dolls all the time. I know not everyone enjoys unboxing dolls and lately I haven't even bought a new doll since May of 2022 so yeah I'm unboxing some doll videos on my channel now but those dolls were actually purchased months in advance so today we're going to be talking about a new doll company that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about, I'm really excited about, but I'm also going to get a little personal about my own struggles. So I will be talking about the new doll company, Healthy Roots. So first, I just wanted to say that Healthy Root Dolls announced two new characters in their line. So it was just Zoe, and these are the two new main characters that are coming out, which I saw on Instagram yesterday, which was August 5th as I'm filming this, and I am so excited. I don't own one, and where I'm going to get a little personal is talking about Addie. But I am so excited. If you go to their Instagram and you go to the link in their bio, you can be on the wait list for the two main characters. But the founder has talked about how funding was the main reason why it was only Zoe in the company for such a long time. And I'm personally really, really excited. I love the mission of this company, teaching about the hair and influencing the black community in the doll and bringing diversity. Now this is where I'm gonna get really personal and I'm expecting to get a lot of hate. So for me, Addie's hair is just atrocious. Addie is from 2007 and as I've stated in many of my videos, I fell out of American Girl in 2009 when they started to retire the historical dolls and then in February of 2022, I started to get back into dolls. Now, I have moved from various situations, and Addie has unfortunately been, like, stowed in a box after play. I'm still trying to work with her hair, which is why I'm so excited for Healthy Roots, because... I'm not black, I'm not of Asian, I don't have texture hair, but the mission of Healthy Roots I really am excited for because unfortunately back in 2007 as someone who collected the historical dolls such as Addie, I really wasn't taught how to care for Addie's hair and I think it was just a fail on American Girl's part, which is why I'm so excited for Healthy Roots. And if Healthy Roots ever sees this video, I would just want to say thank you for your mission as someone who's not black but is willing to learn and educate myself out of my own horizons and boundaries. I cannot wait to actually have my own doll from your brand. So I'm going to follow and show you their Instagram because that's where I mainly consume most of their media. That's where they're the most active. But how Healthy Roots came to be is the CEO was doing a college project on the lack of representation and teaching of black hair in the doll industry and she took that college and university assignment and made it into a brand and they've been working i believe since 2013 2014 to make it up and going and i absolutely just love their mission and their statement and the story behind it it shouldn't have taken this long to make a stance an educational purpose company which I'm so glad that she did about educating on black hair because just imagine the amount of Addies that suffered the same hardship as my Addies have just because children just didn't know and the diversity just wasn't a thing in the doll industry with hair is so saddening to think about. I personally want to learn about the diversity of hair mainly for my career. So I was a substitute educator this previous year for children with severe disabilities 
And there are some times where the kids are just in horrible financial circumstances due to the COVID-19 virus and people are losing their jobs and unemployment that they are unable to do their own hair prior to school starting. So we assisted a lot of these kids in special education just with teaching them basic hygiene. And for me as an educator, this is something where I know I lack and I want to strive to do better as an educator i know there's certain school policies where we can't do that it just varies from state and schools now i'm gonna have to put this disclaimer here because i know a lot of people are gonna warp this video and saying and get permission to mess with students hair it was part of the school curriculum and the parents were informed prior to the start of the academic school year in which I also had to be trained by the main teacher so I wasn't the only educator in the classroom. I had a lot of permission from the whole department of the education sphere in which I work and so I don't want to say mess with students hair randomly as an educator you have to follow by the protocols and each protocol varies from district state and county so i have to put this disclaimer here just because my situation was just very unique and i know a lot of people don't have that experience and i just wanted to be relatable in this video of why i want to learn hair now, I am probably going to make a video after this learning and maybe doing tricks that I learned on the internet to help other people who are struggling with Addie's hair because poor Addie, she deserves to be treated better in her hair care. So if you want to follow along with learning about Addie's hair, I know Healthy Roots is talking about textured curly hair. But I am so excited to have this educational purpose of learning about diversity of hair because I'm pretty sure there was a defect with Yvette in the American Girl community about her hair. And I think education is never, never limited outside of school. We can always learn and blossom and grow. As many of you know, in my previous video, I am making a series of disability awareness and representation. And I just don't only collect American Girl dolls. I have My Life As, Our Generation. I have the Cancer Survivor doll. I have Marlo, who represents the blind. I have Olivia, who is an autism awareness doll. And I have Susie, who's an Our Generation prosthetic doll. Unfortunately, unfortunately I am going to call myself that Susie and Addie are the only dolls of color of black that I have but as many of you know I had a struggle with getting Harper. So if you're new to my channel I ordered Harper who is a New York collection doll who is supposed to represent New York City. Unfortunately I got sent Madison and I was convinced by a family to keep Madison because I'm Madison and she's a Madison and Addie met Maddie. It was kind of perfect so i'm still saving for harper but yeah i originally ordered harper to have more representation in my collection but i will save for her i i will get there make sure to like and comment and subscribe so i can try to get monetized on my youtube channel so i can collect all these dolls that I have a huge obsession with i will admit i have a problem and as we all are excited for, Claudie is going to be coming. I have heard mixtures of her last name of Jones and Wells. We'll have to see on the release date. But it looks like Claudie will have curly hair, which again, more diversity. Because I've talked in previous videos that Addie was the only doll of color in the historical line before I left in 2009 and came back. And now we have Melody and now we're going to have Claudie, who are our black representations of black history of our historical line. Now, with the photo that I just shared about Claudie, it looks like Claudie is going to have a very similar hair type to the Healthy Roots doll collection, which 
is a prime time to be sharing about the company Healthy Roots. I don't expect a free doll from Healthy Roots. If they were to see this video, I actually want to support a small business. Like I said, right now I'm struggling financially, which is why I'm on Pick Collage and CapCut because they're free editors, which thank you Pick Cut and Collage for allowing free services. But I just love the idea of supporting, supporting small. And how did I find Healthy Roots? It was the doll studio by Chris who uh, showed the Healthy Roots doll. And honestly, kind of spark of exploring outside of just the American Girl brand. Prior to starting my channel, I only had eight American Girl dolls and I didn't explore any other brands. And so Healthy Roots is not American Girl brand, but with Claudia releasing, who is going to have a very similar hair type, to the Healthy Roots doll and they're releasing new dolls. I just wanted to share on my channel because as long-term subscribers know, I am all about representation for all communities and, and wanting my collection to just be diverse and representing everyone of the globe. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you would buy a Healthy Roots doll. I know I will. As you saw this long video essay, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the healthcare journey with Addie.